Hello, Bagby Barracudas. Let's make some art. Today, we are going to do some painting together. We are gonna learn about the color wheel and two kinds of colors. We're gonna learn about primary colors. That's red, yellow, and blue. And we're gonna use learn about secondary colors, which are made by mixing the primary colors to make orange, green, and violet or purple. With the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, we can mix all of the colors in the rainbow. Today, we are going to practice mixing the primary colors to make secondary colors. And we're gonna practice this two times. First, we're gonna make a color wheel. And then we're going to make a rainbow painting, just like this one. Let's go over the art supplies we're going to need for this project. In your art supplies, you should have a paper plate with one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. You should also have three popsicle sticks and you should have your set of paints. Today, we're only going to use the, the red, the yellow, and the blue which are the primary colors to make the other colors. You also should have a half sheet of paper, small piece of paper. You're going to have a paintbrush and a cup of water from home. You'll also have some paper towels to dry off your brush or to clean up any spills. And finally, you should have a big piece of newsprint paper. And what we're going to do is make our workspace so that when we do our painting, we, if we have any drips or any spills, it's easy to clean up when we're finished. And we'll just pick up the paper and our table will be clean when we finish. Let's get started. So, we're gonna take the lids off of our red, yellow, and blue. And sometimes these lids stick, so you might need help from an adult to get them open. I want you to take your three popsicle sticks and we're gonna put them in the paints. Because these paint sets are connected kind of like a train, sometimes it can be a little hard to get the paint out. So we're gonna use the popsicle sticks as a scoop to get the paint out. So we got one in the red, one in the yellow, and one in the blue. So here's what we're doing. We're gonna make our color wheel, and we're gonna start by painting the primary colors. The color wheel goes like this. So we're gonna start with our red in this corner right here. And we're gonna put one color in each triangle. So we're gonna put the color we're painting at the top. We're going to get our stick and we're going to scoop a little paint down and go tap, 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 make a little blob of paint. Then we're going to take our clean brush and we're going to move the paint all through our triangle, out to the edge. And there's our red. Then we're going to rinse our brush. What we're going to do is put it in our cup of water and we're gonna swish it around, and so we know it gets nice and clean, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're tapping it on the bottom, then we're gonna give it a little shake on the edge, and we're gonna dry it off on the paper towel. And we can put that down. So we have red here. We're going to turn it again, and we're gonna skip one triangle and leave it blank. And we're gonna turn this here. Then we're going to do our yellow. So we're gonna scoop a little yellow paint out and we're gonna tap out a blob 
I'm gonna put this paint stick back into the pot. And we're going to push our yellow paint all the way through our triangle out to the edge. And then we're going to rinse our brush. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give a little tap and dry it on the side of the paper. Then we're going to turn and skip one spot and turn again to get the third triangle of our primary colors and the third color is going to be blue. We're gonna take some out of the stick and tap, tap, tap and put the stick back in the pot. We're gonna hold our, paint, our plate where we have no paint and we're going to brush, 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 brush and fill our blue triangle on our color wheel. Okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. Right now we're just practicing making the wheel and getting the colors to fill the circle. So we're doing our rinsing our brush again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to tap some water off and dry the brush off again. Next, we're going to do our first mixing. So first we are going to do mix red and yellow to make orange. Yellow is a very, is a light and not a very strong color. And red is a super strong color. So to make orange, you need yellow and just a little bit of red. So let's show you how to do this. We're gonna take a a lob of yellow and put it here. And some more yellow, bigger blob of yellow. And we're gonna do a small bit of red. And the reason for that is red is stronger than yellow. And if you do equal parts, it's almost too red. So we're gonna turn our page here and we're gonna take some yellow and some red and some yellow and some red. I'm gonna mix the two dots together until they make orange and just tap them together. And there we have orange. So let's rinse our brush again. Tap, tap. And then we're going to do our next color. Let's turn and make, well, let's do, sorry. We're going to do green next. So let's put yellow and blue. And this one here is going to be green. Same thing again. Blue is even stronger than red. So we're going to start with yellow. And put lots of yellow, extra yellow, and a tiny amount of blue. So one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe just a teeny dot. Okay. You can always, you can always add more blue, but you can't take it away once you put it in there. So then we're going to blue, blue, green, Blue, yellow, blue, yellow, until we get some green. Do we think we need more blue? Maybe just a little bit? Maybe just a tiny bit more blue. Do you decide? Decide, decide on how much paint you have if you need more blue to get green. And it's okay if you touch the other paints on the other sides because they're, they're mixing together. There we go, green. Now we're gonna rinse our brush again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tap, tap, tap. Dry, dry, dry. And let's turn our wheel this way and do our last color. We have blue on one side and we have red on the other side and we're gonna make violet or purple in the middle. Again, blue is a stronger color than red. So we're going to use more red, big dot of red, we're going to use a small dot of blue to make purple. I'm going to mix together, mix together, mix together, dot, 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 dot. And then we're going to pull it across our triangle. And we have purple. So now that we've practiced our color wheel, color mixing, let's take those skills and make a rainbow painting. I'm gonna move my color wheel out of the way. And I'm going to take my little half sheet of paper. And we're going to do, 
the colors in the order of the rainbow. And there, that means we're gonna do them in red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple in that order. So let's start with red. And I figured out a trick with this paintbrush. So we're gonna make sure our paintbrush is clean. This paper is just the right size. We're gonna do this kind of rainbow that your, we're gonna make stripes and your stripe should be as wide as your paintbrush is. The brush part is long. So we have a red stripe this long, blue stripe, yellow stripe, green stripe, blue stripe, and a purple stripe. And if you make each one about this big, going up your page, you're gonna have enough room to get all six colors of the rainbow. So let's move this to the side. And let's start with red. So we're gonna take here and we're going to put a little tap of red at the bottom. And with our brush, we're going to mix it across here. And it's about as wide as the metal tip to the end. So we have red. I'm gonna lay my brush down. It has some red on it and that's good because we're gonna make orange now. So in order to make orange, we're gonna do red and yellow to get our orange. So we're gonna start like we did with the other one and do yellow across here, dots of yellow. And we're gonna see, there might already be enough red on my paintbrush to turn this yellow orange. And I think there is. And then what you wanna do is overlap the red stripe a little bit with the orange stripe. And it's about as wide as the brush bristles. The brush bristles. And then we'll rinse our brush. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tap, tap, tap. Rinse it off. And now we're gonna do red, orange, and yellow. So we're gonna get some yellow paint up. And this time we're doing only yellow, so I'm gonna do Maybe I need to do this two times. Extra dots. And then we're gonna stretch it across our page. So we're gonna start here and press it across. And don't worry if you go off the edges, that's why we have the paper underneath to protect our table. So now we have yellow and we are going to rinse our brush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna go like this and dry it. The next color we're going to make is green. So let's do yellow and blue for green. Now remember, blue is the strong color, so let's start with yellow. So we're gonna actually make an extra thick yellow strip. For a minute, it's gonna match this. So let's make a thick yellow strip and then we're going to add a couple tiny dots of blue. I'm going to tap this off even. One. Oh, that's a big block. Big dot. Hopefully it's not too much. Ready? So we don't have to rinse the brush. We're going to mix the blue into our yellow strip. Oh, that's pretty good actually. I'm going to get some green. So we have four colors now. We're going to rinse our brush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tap, tap, tap. Dry it off. Next color is blue, and it's blue all by itself, right? So we have red, orange, yellow, green, and our next color is going to be blue. So let's take our blue stick and go tap, 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 tap across and draw the blue color across your stripe. And you can overlap it with the green just a little bit. Not too much though, because then it'll turn your blue strip green. Now, we don't have to rinse the brush because the next color we're gonna make is purple or violet and we're gonna be mixing it with red. So we're gonna take the red and we're going to go across the top of our page. And then we're gonna see if the blue we have on our brush already is enough blue to turn this red purple. 
and I think it's not quite enough. So I'm gonna do two little dots of blue. One, oh, maybe just one, that's a big dot. Let's see, once we mix that, cover the whole thing. And now, oh, I have a paintbrush bristle. A piece of my paintbrush is on my painting. There we go, clean it off. And now we have a rainbow. To finish this project, let's make sure we rinse our brush at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tap it off, leave it there to dry. We can just take our sticks out and give them a tap clean and lay them down on our paper towel. Just like that. Remove our paper, our cup. We're gonna put the lids back on. Maybe you should have an adult help you do this so that you can put the lids on all the way and then they will not dry, the paints won't dry out and you can use them again for another project another time. And there we have it. We have a rainbow painting. Happy creating. Thanks for doing art with me, Bagby Barracudas.